Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Eddie Almighty and today we're going to have a little tips and tricks video for Call of Duty Ghost. Now after two weeks or I guess it's like 13 days of the games being out, everybody's finally getting into their own headspace of how they're going to play this game and um, what works for them. Now I found out that what works for me is uh, staying up close and personal, kind of like that. Um. But a few things about this game, uh, if you notice that it's a little empty or if it feels too big, the maps feel too big, I mean, I think it's been said before, but I'll go ahead and re-say it. Uh, this game was meant for the Xbox One and the PS4. I feel like it's Let's getting kind of held back in this current generation of consoles, game. and that's why it feels like a it's disappointment of some kind. Okay. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think it's a pretty good game. It's fun. It's really, really fun. Even with all the, uh, the lag and BS that comes with uh, Call of Duty as in general. So let's get started with the first tip is work on your essentials. Now I know this seems like, okay, why are you telling me this? But um, having good essentials, like having a good solid uh, like basis to work from is what really, really makes people thrive in this game. And what I mean by that is working on your aim. Uh, you're strafing, you're moving, and uh, checking your corners. Now, with aiming, what I do is I kind of have a little system. Uh, every single Call of Duty or every single shooter that I start playing is I, I train a little bit on like a training guide, or if I'm on the campaign, I try to shoot everybody on the left foot or or the right arm or something like that, just so I can keep my accurate to a pers like. Keep it precise, that's what I try to do, just because in Call of Duty, especially in this one, if you don't win your first gunfight, you're probably going to die. You die really fast in this game, and uh, people don't like that. Uh, I'm getting used to it, just because uh, it seems that every other Call of Duty, they switch it up. It's either you die faster, you die quicker, um, maybe it's just like the pacing of the game. But, yes, uh, it feels like I kill in two bullets and I die in two um, which I guess it feels fair or sometimes I, I it feels like I'm shooting a guy four times and he doesn't drop but anyway yeah just work on your aim uh, at the end of the day you will be glad you did you will be hitting those long shots and uh, shooting people in the face and working on your strafing if you don't know what strafing is strafing is just moving from one side to the other making yourself a harder target to hit um, now they have a whole slew of different animations for movement in this game the most important being the slide if you don't know how to slide you just as you're sprinting you hold down the right stick or the B button and you will slide it is the same button as your uh, prone now I like to keep my button layout on tactical I like having all my movement on um, the two joysticks that way I don't have to like reach around and and press the B button but anyway, just working on your strafe, uh, use that slide to your advantage, moving from cover to cover, um, because you will die if you don't. If you run out in the open, like a bunch of baby buffaloes, you will die. Um, now, the last thing, or maybe not the last thing, but the last point on this topic is checking your corners. Everybody in this game, or maybe not everybody, but a good amount of people play this game like it's a life simulator. If they die for real, that's it. Their game is over, so... Just uh, be cautious of those people. Keep checking your corners. Don't sprint around them. I know I'm kind of being hypocritical about it because I run everywhere. I just want to see people because there's not a lot of uh, players to fill out the map. But yeah, just check those corners because most likely there will be a guy waiting for you. Now, topic number three or or top number three tip number two would be map awareness uh, this kind of ties into checking your corners make sure you know where you are and where you don't want to get caught in because especially in this map it feels like there's a lot of power positions in this there's a lot of uh, buildings with two or three different levels so if you are uh, at a window and there's yeah you're at a window and there's like four or five different ways to get to you or there's like seven different windows that people can uh, chuck in grenades and make sure you know to get out and make sure that you have like an escape route. I know that seems kind of cheesy, but
but that's what I do. I have uh, a couple of routes I like to run in this gameplay. I am running from this side, from this building. I, I kind of stick around this building because people will come to you. Trust me, uh, they will come for you all game. So just kind of have a couple routes that you know you're going to see people like high density areas and keep your back to the edge of the map or just and like overall protected because people can't sneak up on you if there's nothing to sneak up on behind. So just kind of keep that in mind because there will be people coming after you as soon as you kill them. Sometimes uh, I know you can feel like lost in this game or I feel lost in this game a little bit because... Uh, still, there's still people running around with their heads cut off. I know I'm one of them where, like I said, people that are just sitting in corners, sitting in windows, and it's tough to get them because they have uh, an assault rifle and you're just outclassed. Um, speaking of, that leads me to my third topic, and that is choosing your loadouts to the map. Not every single map is built for every single weapon, but I mean, what I mean by that is choosing a shotgun map and a smaller um, yeah, choosing a shotgun in a smaller map like Strike Zone, which is I think is the smallest map and which feels like a medium map in the previous guy, but whatever. Um, choose, choose accordingly. Um, if it's like that really big map, I think it's called Stonehenge. Uh, just pick an assault rifle, pick a, a light machine gun, pick something that's going to get you a kill from farther away because using a shotgun in that map. It's going to be really, really frustrating. Kind of like getting this care package. I try to keep going back for it because it's a maniac. And uh, it's a pretty nice kill streak. But anyway, it, it'll be frustrating if you don't. If you pick a whole bunch of random perks. And now I know that the perk system in this game kind of works a little bit different. And you have to use cod points and all that good stuff. And sometimes it actually feels like you're... Like you don't get any other good perks until about level 36 and it's kind of like a grind you you level up a lot um, Slower in this game than you do in previous cards um, But anyway the last thing I want to say is just have fun with the game. It's a video game For crying out loud you you don't want to rage too hard I mean, I know that again. That's being a little hypocritical just because I yell at the TV whenever Things don't go my way, but just kind of keep in mind that it is a video game. If you don't have fun in the game, you're not going to do well at all. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it does happen. If, if uh, you're having a good time in the game, you end up being uh, a little better. You're a little bit more relaxed. You're not, you're not super tense trying to force things to happen. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Peace.